Hello everybody, it's me, Skull Queen. Welcome to day 25 of our challenge where I'm designing an entire island without Nintendo Online in 30 days. And let's go ahead and get right into our daily routine. I collected my DIYs, checked nooks, planted the money tree, and watered the flowers. Our daily routine is done, and before we get into today's build, I am just gonna go and run to a cabin island. Hopefully we get some more glowing moss and vines. Just a regular island. Okay, well since there really isn't anything here, let's go ahead and head home. Oh, and before I forget, we do have Flick here today, and I have these little moths that I'd like to get a model made of, so I'm gonna go find him really quick and turn those in. Where is he? He was over here earlier. That is so weird. He was just by the front. Oh my God, he's seriously right here. My plan for today is to decorate Kyle and Dobie's little yards and we can check mark two things off the list, which would be really, really nice. If we're gonna be completing these goals, then we really have to get going here. So I think we could decorate both of their yards and even this little top section up here. And we'll get to the museum and this back cliff probably in the next episode, I'm thinking. So I'm trying to tackle the bigger areas and I think we'll be able to take care of all of this today, hopefully. I'm just gonna start clearing out the space and then I do have to craft quite a few things. I have yet to find the skeleton item. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's pretty crazy. I would love to decorate with it. It's one of my favorite things and I still don't have it after all of this time traveling and farming. That and the wheat field, I don't get it. And before we really get going on this build, I do wanna stunt some trees. I don't have that many stunted trees on this island and I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna plant all of these saplings that I have and then we'll time travel forward and start stunting them. All right, we've got all of our trees planted. I'm gonna go ahead and go forward two days and then we'll stunt some and then go forward another day and stunt the rest. Little babies, oh, they're so cute and they're all growing, yay. Okay, and then the rest will let go one more day so I'll time travel one more time. Let's go ahead and stunt the rest of these here. First thing I'm gonna do for their build is grab some trees that we can sprinkle around. Oh look, and there's the money spot. So the trees that are already there, I'm just gonna keep where they are and add a few more. We got our trees figured out. I'm just gonna grab some items and then I do have a ladder kit that I wanna place right here as your way to access this little picnic area that I'm gonna make. And I know we just made a picnic area, but you can never have too many. I grabbed a ton of items per usual and I'm gonna go ahead and head to Reese and Cyrus just to see if there's anything we should customize. Finally got all of the items that I wanted crafted and customized. Now I'm just gonna work on a path that leads you all the way through back to the museum. get started I do want to make a different variation of this blanket in either a blue or a gray colorway not exactly sure yet but I do want to keep it more masculine and not as pink since this is kind of like the guy's corner Ooh, this deep blue one looks really good or the gray hmm I liked that first blue one this one right here yeah we'll do this for the boys and then we do have the little ladder setup kit to put right here. 
Okay, I crafted this outdoor bath that I thought could look really cute, possibly back here, kind of tucked away. Okay, we have all of our main items placed. I just have to craft one more thing and then grab some food items for my storage and then finish it off with flowers and bushes. So we should be wrapping it up here pretty soon. Picked up a couple more items and some produce. We're gonna see how far that takes us, but I think I'm gonna have to do one more round of just some filler items for the cliffs after this. So we actually almost got it completely done. I just need to pick up a couple more bushes and then I think that can complete the build. I almost forgot about this cliff up here too though. Oh no, gotta fill up that. We got a couple more things. Let's see if we can finish off this build. All right guys, this build is officially done and let me give you a little walkthrough. So right at the top of this incline, we first have Kyle's home. He has more of a laid back speak easy vibe going on with just a dartboard and some lounge chairs. And Kyle and Dobie also have this gazebo to share and right through the gazebo we have Dobie's little study since we do know that studying is one of his favorite hobbies. They also have a little grill down here that they can share whenever they would like. 
Moving on to Dobie's yard. Oh my gosh, these balloons are everywhere. I hate bunny day. But anyways, moving on to Dobie's yard, I did want to add a little oil barrel and some bones just to keep it a little more mysterious, industrial looking. And we also have a little magic kit over here. And right behind Kyle's cliff, we do have a little outdoor bath, which they can use at their leisure. Once we go up this little step ladder, we have their shared picnic spot. And I try to keep the whole area a little more masculine with more of the blue and black being used and not quite as much of the pink. And I think the whole thing came out really, really cute. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you'd like to see episode 26 that'll be posted tomorrow, then please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all then. Bye.